with forward pay from Appalachian Wireless, you'll avoid contracts and credit checks while taking advantage of some awesome perks, like unlimited talk, text, and three gigs of data for just $44.99, or with five gigs for a mere $59.99. Forward pay. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Students in Johnson County will soon be assigned their own laptop computer, courtesy of the Johnson County School District. The boardroom at the Johnson County Board of Education is full of laptop computers, which district officials are in the process of distributing to middle school and high school students. Superintendent Tom Sawyer said the new computers will allow students to do work from home, particularly on snow days designated as non-traditional instruction days. When students have assignments, they have to complete from home. We need a little time to... Uh Image machines and getting ready with all of our software and things on that applies to Johnson County Schools. So uh, we're just uh, real excited about this initiative. I think it's probably one of the largest rollouts of computers in, across the state here. And uh, our kids, uh, I know, will do a great job with them. And we feel they'll just be an extension of uh, the everyday practices and strategies that our teachers use each day in the classroom to better prepare our students for the future workforce and future real, real life activities here. The computers, approximately 1,600 Google Chromebooks, were purchased using matching funds from the Kentucky Education Technology System. So we've saved and pulled our money together for the last couple of years to be able to afford this initiative for all our students, which is over a quarter million dollars worth of computers here. Uh, in the past couple of years uh, prior to this, we've got all of our infrastructure ready, all of our wireless and things that we'll need here across the district, and that's about a $2 million investment. The goal is to have all of the computers assigned to students and staff by the end of the month. Reporting in Paintsville for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.